Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, finally, after a long, long time of waiting, looks like my solid mount shifter and dual shear selector rod finally showed up from uh, Garagistic. Listen, it's nothing against them. It was a long lead time product. I knew that when I bought it. I've seen some people kind of complain about it, but small operation, special order item. It says that when you order it that it could take up to two weeks or it might take longer. Their communication was good with me. No problems. Um, and it also comes in the nick of time because uh, I'm on a push right now to get the car back together. And it would have sucked to put the drive shaft back in, have the stock shifter in, and then have to take it all out again to put the shifter back in. Uh, it would have been all right uh, initially because I still have to rebuild the drive shaft. I'm waiting on tools to show up from Germany for that, but I'm going to put it back in anyway as it is. Should be fine temporarily. Uh, with that said, let's open up the box. Let's see what's in there. Let's do it. Yeah, here's good old fashioned unboxing. I'm using the steak knife, a very official way of opening up any package. See what we got. All right, got one piece there. Uh, looks like the dual shear selector rod, the base, and the hardware. Let me get rid of the void fill there. Let's see what we got here. Ah. Uh, uh, the packaging is very, very good. This is definitely the bottom portion of the shifter. Kind of a dead giveaway what it is. There we go. So, basically the way that this thing works is there's two pieces right here. You have this piece right here and then you have the upper piece. The lower piece goes underneath the transmission tunnel and this upper piece, uh, basically it ends up sandwiching between which solid mounts it to the chassis of the car. And what we have here, the little bronze insert here for the selector shaft pins, a nice ball bearing for the shifter. All very, very high quality machining. Looks really nice. Now, there's a set screw here. Uh, I don't know the size. It could be standard. It could be metric. I won't know until I know once I install this. But it does allow for some adjustment underneath the car to either shorten or lengthen the throw. Uh, since I've gone with the long shift lever, or the long version of this, I would want this underneath to be as short as possible. Uh, since more or less compensating for the overall throw length with the length of the shifter itself. So we'll uh, fiddle around with that once we go to install it. So this is the other half of the shifter. So basically it works like this. See two set screws here. Looks like, you know, you have some height adjustability built in, so... You know, if you take this and you thread it in place, I think ideally what we'd want to have here is this would line up. You have some machining here. You'd want the set screws to line up with these set screws. Did go with the long version. I am excited to get this in the car. I mean, it's going to look cool, but I think it's also pretty functional. Uh, basically, I wanted the shift lever to be right next to the steering wheel. I don't really want to have to move my hands that far or that far out uh, from where my hands are going to be positioned. So, that's a nice piece right there. I uh, assume this is the... Be careful opening this. This is probably the shift lever handle. Yeah. I went with the Delrin option. I didn't do it with like the inlay for the 
inlay for the for the numbers or anything or the shift pattern. I didn't really find that to be necessary. So, and I uh, just wanted to go with the Delrin, you know, classic basic knob because you know the car might sit out in the sun for long periods of time. Really don't need the handle to get any hotter. I think they have an option. It's actually a really nice piece, really well machined Delrin, but I think they have the option for aluminum. The only problem with going with aluminum is it will get hot over, over a period of time. So this is just your typical threaded, just threads on like so. So that's nice. All right, and then this right here is the dual shear selector rod. And it comes with the hardware for installation. So you get rid of a lot of the slop that the factory selector rod introduces. Also, the, the purpose of this shifter is it gets rid of the shift lever support. Because normally the pivot point is, is part of the shift lever support. Now the pivot point is part of the shifter base itself. So, you know, you don't have those bushings to deal with that, uh, like I said, will introduce slop. That's pretty much eliminated 100%. The reason why this is called a dual shear selector rod is you can see that it has two ears on both sides first. Just the, the single dowel or whatever that would normally go through. So essentially, you know, when these pieces are bolted together, there really isn't any room for there to be slop. You know, it's going to basically create a very direct shift feel, which is what I want. It's really nice piece. Is the, the welding on the dual shear selector rod, selector rod is really nice. The machining on the shifter itself. So, it's really just going to be a matter of getting installed in the car. And uh, I'm going to do that uh, ASAP. Like I said, part of this is the car needs to be back together very, very soon. And uh, but was waiting on this piece for a while. Now it's finally here. We'll see how the installation on this goes. I think it should be pretty straightforward. But we'll talk about some of the finer points and some of the adjustments that we have here. And then we'll uh, once it's installed and the car's up and running, we'll do a review. See see how well this thing works. But like I said, super excited about it. it looks really good. And I uh, can't wait to get it installed.